Hey, Jake Roy back here, 90s B-Ball Cards. So I've got some uh, packs here that I want to bust open. 97, 98 Bowman's Best, and these are retail packs. So I've got six of them today to bust through. This is a pretty premium product, and if you remember back in, in the day when these came out, so these were similar in design uh, features to uh, a Topps Chrome type product. So you'll see some similarities, but also there's the refractors in here as well as atomic refractors, which are really cool, and hopefully we pull some that you can see what they look like. So quickly we'll go through the odds of what we can pull. Again, these being retail packs, the odds are much worse than they would be if they were hobby packs. So go quickly through, we, uh, we have refractors at one in 20 packs. Atomic refractors would be one in 40 packs in these. And then we've got the uh, best techniques, which are one in 20 for the base. Then you've got a refractor version, which is one in 80. And then you've got an atomic refractor, which is one in uh, 160 packs. So then you've got best cuts at one in 40, the refractors one in 80, and then the atomic refractors again, one in 160. And then you've got best picks, which are similar to that. It's an all rookie set, uh, one in 40, one in 80, one in 160 again there. You've got mirror images, which have four players, two on one side, two on the other side. Uh, those are one in 80 for the base, one in 160 for the refractors, one in 320 for the atomics. And then really the, the cream of the crop here, you can get an autograph. And they have, for the autographs, they have the base, they have the refractors, and they have the atomic refractors. Really, really rare cards. So the base are one in 745 packs, which is just astronomical. And then the refractors, one in 3,924 packs. And then the atomic refractor, if you can even imagine it being more rare, is ridiculously rare at one in 11,922 packs which is almost comical. Um, and also when you look at the values of some of those, the only one that actually holds a significant amount of value is the Carl Malone. So we'll see what we can get. Hopefully we get some fire. I would love to get an autograph, uh, not expecting that at all, but you know, hopefully we get something crazy. All right, so here we go with pack number one. So these are three cards per pack. And actually you can probably see, you can actually see the cards through the yellow side a little bit and through the back as well. This is degraded a little bit, but let's see what we get here. All right, well, not too bad with a rookie to start, Chauncey Billups. And that's just a subset, so Sharif Abdul-Rahim, another of the subset. These are best performances. The Kembe Mutombo, it's pretty cool, all stars. No inserts. These packs are fighting me a little bit. All right, another rookie, Tariq Abdul Wahad. A little bit of sticking there. Jason Williams, that's a base. Another base there with Chris Weber. All right, pack number three. some scissors I just really don't want to ding any corners I don't expect to be getting something crazy but you never quite know these packs are nice there we go Keith Booth rookie John Stockton base and then Glenn Robinson big dog all right so far one rookie per pack I'm not sure if that's expected Another rookie, Antonio Daniels. He was the number two pick that year. The Sharif base. And Carl Malone, pretty sweet picture there. All right, pack five. There we go. All right, no rookie on the top there. Jason Kidd. Ronnie Cycli and John Starks. So apparently we don't get one rookie purse. So this is the last pack. Let's hope for some fire here. Kevin Garnett, love that. 
another Jason Williams, and another Chris Weber. All right. All right, so we're back here. So we didn't really pull too much fire. I mean, really the best pull, Chauncey Billups rookie, it sells for probably about a dollar plus shipping online. I really like that KG, that's one of my side PCs, and that's a really cool picture of KG there in the Timberwolves uniform, throwing down a pretty nice dunk. I think that's over Clyde Drexler. So that's pretty cool. So I wanted to highlight some of the inserts that I have in my PC and talk through a couple of neat things. So let's get right into the the base cards. We, we saw plenty of those, but I wanted to show you guys the refractors. So here I've got a penny refractor and an atomic refractor, and I'm hoping the glare is not too much here so you can see how that refractor and the atomic kind of plays with those lines. It's a really, really cool pattern. Um, it, it's really unmistakable and it's been used in a lot of other formats. So really pretty cool stuff. And if you ever pick up a card and you're not really sure, just like with the top stuff, it says it right on the back by the number. So if I flip it over here, right here under the number, you see refractor, then for the atomic, it says atomic above and then refractor below. So. You can rest assured you know from looking at the back if you don't pick it up on the front, if you're looking at pictures online or, or what have you. But those Atomic Refractors are really cool cards. Um, and you can get one in every insert set, which is also pretty cool. So going right down the line, we're gonna go and take a look at the best techniques. These are one in 20 packs. So here's the Jordan. Don't have a refractor or Atomic Refractor, but a pretty cool one. I think the set design overall is pretty simple, but I really like this picture on the Jordan. And, and how it's centered there. So I think this one's pretty cool. Some of the other cards that I've seen in the set don't really bring the fire, if you will, in the sense of the, the picture, but this one's pretty cool. So I love this one. Um, one in 20 packs there. So then moving right along, the mirror images. So this one, like I said, there's four players on here. The whole concept was you're gonna have a rookie and a veteran that are kind of similar in playing style. And then on the back, you have a player from the prior season that was a rookie, 96, 97, and another veteran that are similar in some aspects. So this is a refractor, as you saw. You got Tracy McGrady, it's his rookie year, Grant Hill, and then you've got KG, and you've got Sharif Abdul-Rahim. So those are pretty cool. Hopefully you can pick up the refractor on that. Um, I've always really liked having this card in my PC. Not worth a ton anymore. Uh, it, they sell pretty quickly, but not the most valuable cards in the world. And then uh, we've got this Best Picks. So this is a rookie set. So this one's actually a PSA card that I picked up a while ago, PSA 9, so not the highest grade in the world, but pretty cool. Uh, and I've always really liked these. So you've got a little bit of die cut, and hopefully you can kind of see right there some of the squares are cut out on the bottom as well. And then, you know, the refractor just plays nicely there. So again, you get the refractor, it says it right under the number, PSA 9, so you, you know it's in decent shape anyway. And then the last one we're gonna talk about is the best cuts. So similar in the design to the best picks, but these are veterans. So I've got the penny, I've got the three versions, so a mini rainbow, if you will. So the, the base one, and then you've got the refractor, and then the atomic refractor. And I think on this one, the atomic refractor really picks up pretty nicely. It's the same pattern as you get on the rest of them, um, but hopefully you guys can see that if you didn't see it on the last one. And then again, like always, you got the Atomic and Refractor right there. So really cool cards here in this Bowman's Best. I don't have an autograph to show, but they look just like the base card. So if you were to get a Karl Malone, it's essentially the same as the Karl Malone that we pulled, and then you would just have an autograph on it. So let's see, where's the Karl Malone? We got, I should have had this ready for you guys. So you're gonna have that card, and then you're gonna have an autograph right down here, and then if it's a Refractor, the same finish, Atomic Refractor, the same finish that Atomic would get. So those are pretty cool if you can pull them, but like we talked about with the odds, ridiculously rare cards to pull. So that's what we got. All right, so we showed off uh, some of the PC and some of the hits. So wanted to show, uh, talk to you guys about the, the question of the day. So the question I have for you guys is what do you guys think about refractors with some pattern? And I know we talked about the Atomic, but there's also some different patterns that have been used through Topps Finest, their silvers and, and some other things in the 90s. But just in general, what do you guys think about a different pattern on refractors? Do you like that or do you like the, the tried and true, just basic refractor? Or do you prefer any of the specific patterns that, that came out from the Topps company? So as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch these videos. If you like what we do here, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos when they come out. Uh, give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment with any stories that you guys have or what you think of refractors and their patterns. Thanks.